where all these data centers get to busing and all of them are going at the same time bro that's what them data centers is finna be doing to our lungs bro our air and shit. you see all that smoke bro this is what's happening in boxtown memphis suffocating and shit, bro so an increased number of asthma attacks copd lung disease lung cancer in general respiratory issues due to breathing in the particles miscarriages there have been reports of birth defects on babies that are born near data centers as well as an increased number of heart attacks there's a nitrate contamination in the water and they're linking that to different cancers and pregnancy losses as well as rare cancers and unusual diseases there's been an increase in both of those there's neurological and developmental concerns due to the formaldehyde that's in the air pollution caused from these data centers and if that wasn't enough there's been an overall increase of mental health concerns and people that live close to these data centers because one they're noisy they're making this really ominous drone noise two their electricity bills have gone up and three the water supply data centers need water to keep them cool people that live close to these data centers are reporting changes in their water pressure some people don't have water at all coming from their faucet listen to this this is our cold water pressure in the kitchen this is where i fill up water for storage those are the things we have to fill up to flush the toilets and the most disgusting part is, is that they're putting these data centers in low income areas some people are saying because the land is cheap but you know me myself and a lot of other people think that this is being done for other reasons i keep seeing people attending meetings and the plans for the data center actually get postponed like this i'd like to announce uh, our intention to withdraw this proposal <laughs> or this one in maryland my hometown i'm so proud of us we do have concerns of environmental racism because they're putting it in land over for a reason we already got the stadium in our backyard that creates excessive amounts of traffic and now you're going to give us a data center that's going to create excessive amounts of pollution However, unfortunately, sometimes they do get approved because money talks. So the question then goes, so what else can we do? I know people say stop using AI, but that's easier said than done because it's not just chat GPT or Sora. So many companies have integrated AI into their business model. It's really hard to avoid. You cannot use chat GPT. You could turn off the AI assist on Google, but then somehow still end up using AI from the internet or a different app on your phone. It's really hard to avoid these days. And these data centers are just popping up everywhere. But now people are speculating that there will eventually be a war on water. But rest assured to anyone in the United States because it doesn't look like we'll be attacked for that resource because according to this map, we will most likely have to get clean, drinkable water elsewhere. But it's not just the United States. So I looked into what else we can do because I just don't want to fear monger. I want to actually provide solutions. So one of the things I found is to demand independent health studies before it is approved. Also demand air and water monitoring that the people can see. Keep everything documented, the smells, the noise, the increase in your bills, the fog, any changes to your water, buy water tests, any changes documented. And push them to pause until all of these safety measures are put into place. Technology should not come at the cost of people's health. This, this shouldn't even be a debate. No one needs AI that much, honestly.